Gotta live for God to the fullest, never get tired of this. No one cares so much about your life, don't wanna sneak and lose. God's love is fine tuning. Welcome to inspired music. Every verse you hear me right, Christ inspired it. What up my peoples, welcome to Inspire Mix Movement. This here is the 2021 season finale, but hey, 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 that does not mean the show is over. It only means we're taking a break and getting ready for the new season that will kick off in 2022. But to help me close out the season, I got my two brothers here with me. I got my bro, Immortality the Rapper, and my homeboy Snoop, aka Sin Assassin. Yo, what up with you, bros? Hey, <laughs> man. Man, I'm so I'm I'm so excited to have both of y'all on the show, man. I, I really thank y'all for real for coming through and being on. Hey, glad to be here, man. For sure. So, um, so how I'm gonna do this? Is, for sure, bro. So what I'm going to do here is, this first round, this is for you, Immortality the Rapper. So, or should I say Darnell, because that's what we're going to talk about later on in the show. That's what's coming out soon. That's what the world is getting ready for. Ain't that right, bro? That means yes, sir. <laughs> but man, so the last time we talked, um, we had talked about your album that came out this year called Go and Make Disciples. But we gonna get into the whole story. Cause see how I linked up with you is you another one of our brothers by the name of Minister Gabriel. Shout out to the bro Wiseman. <laughs> but I wanna ask you like, how did you and Wiseman link up in the beginning? Um, uh, we we actually met back in like 2000, I think it was 14. Um, but right after, a little bit after I moved to Macon. And um, it's a guy named Bro Mike. And um, pretty much since I was new to making, when I ran into Bro Mike at a like a gospel branch where we performed that together, he kind of introduced me to several people in the making area that was doing um, Christian rap music. So just so happened, Wise Man was at Bro Mike's house one day, and I met him, and we just kind of you know connected from there. Man. You know what? I never knew that. So we all kind of connected around the same time. But that was the same year I connected to him because in 2014, that was the first time I was transitioning from music to radio ministry. And I, and I had just met him uh, linked up with him. So, um, man, shout out to Wise once again. And if y'all heard my United Saints album, he's on track number five. God's love is not a stop. But, man, so when you and I linked up, you were serving us that musical therapy. And it was so good, you had to serve us two of them. <laughs> Man. Yes, sir. So can you share the inspiration behind all the albums I just mentioned? Music Therapy 1, Music Therapy 2, and Go and Make Disciples. Um, so Music Therapy, um, the first one, basically, you know, it just... It, it was really my first time, like, really going into doing the Christian rap after my son was born. Like, I was doing Christian rap before that, but, um, but after my son was born, like, that's when I really had started getting back into it, because I had took, like, a, I want to say, like, a good two or three year break from doing it. And, you know, so at that point, you know, it was a lot of stress going on from you know, having a new TV, being married, moving to a new house and new city and stuff like that. And so, so I was like, well, I got to get back to doing my music, man, because I'm like, when I think about it, that's like my therapy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, that would be a good thing for the album, you know. And so, um, so that's kind of how I came up with the first one. And then the second one, I was like, well, hey, I might need to make this uh like, like an ongoing set, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like, you know, how, how Wayne got, like, um, <laughs> the Carter. Yeah, the Carter. <laughs> uh, let, let me go with music therapy, too. And actually, during that time, I was going through a really stressful time because me and my wife had separated at the time. So, 
So that was kind of, uh, yeah. you know, my, my way of just kind of keeping myself going. And, um, you know, like, because the thing is, when I put the music together, it's like I do it minister to other people, but it also ministers to myself. So, you know, so I'm like, hey, you know, this is my therapy. And when I do my music, man, I feel like I'm just at ease. I'm at peace. I mean, I mm-hmm. feel like I'm just wrapped up in God's hands, you know, wrapped up in his arms. So so that's how I ended up doing um, music therapy, too. And then to go and make disciples, I was kind of like, man, and like I, I feel like I hadn't really been able to get out there and and reach people the way I, I really desire to, you know, and um, just kind of um, like and not really having opportunities to get out there and, and minister the way I want to. So with that album, I was like, man, I want to do something that's talking about going out there and ministering and making this. I'm like, at the end of the day, that's what God wants us to do. No, it's not it's about us mm-hmm. being saved by ourselves, but it's spreading the bird and, and reaching people, you know. So, and that's kind of how I came up with the go and make disciples. Okay, cool, cool. And um, what indeed, bro? So, what I wanna, what I also wanna ask you, what I'm gonna do here is, I wanna um, do some rhyme and reason real quick. I'm gonna call out some of the songs I heard from you. And I just want you to share your concept and your inspiration that brought you to write these songs. So the first one I want to call out is The Real OG. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, so The Real OG basically is just the, the OG is the only God, you know, the original, uh, the only God. And, and I, you know, whether you Muslim or whatever, you know, I'm like the true God is Jehovah, you know, and and basically that's where the concept of that song came from. I'm, I'm like, it, it's all about Him, and you know, if you want salvation, you know, it, it, if you want to know where we truly came from, you got to meet and talk to the folks, the only God, the original God. Yeah, so that's where that inspiration. Man, and let me tell you, bro, I love that joint because that beat is out the frame, bro. Look, it make you want to go out and get your march on like 10 up. <laughs> Man, okay, yes, the next one is Talking to the Hood. Alright, um, so Talking to the Hood, like, pretty much, you know, I feel like our brothers especially like us black brothers like definitely need some guidance you know what i'm saying and and realize that that whether you're growing up in the hood or whatever there's no excuse to not be able to to prosper you know what i'm saying because no matter where where you are wherever you are that's where god makes you with you know but just because you grow up in a certain environment, it don't mean that you have to be a product of that environment. And so, you know, so I really wanted to talk to those out there that whether they selling drugs or, you know, committing robberies or whatever it may be, it's like, you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I can guarantee that those people have had somebody to try to speak into them, speak life into them. And and I feel like got to take heed because otherwise, you know, they basically live in fast and die young, you know. But you know, they they somebody's son, you know. They, if they got children, they somebody's father, you know. And they got to think about the bigger picture and not just think about that come up, you know. And but I, I feel like like especially young guys, they they need. Some some guys like us, you know, that's a, a little bit older, you know, got a little bit of experience to be able to talk to them and minister to them and feed into them and be like a father figure. You know, they don't have a good father figure in their life. Mm-hmm. Man, so this next one, man, this was a super duper colossal collab you did with this joint, but go. Yeah, yeah. You, you know you got some people on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, go 
And basically, you know, like I linked up with my girl, Lady Faith, and my boy, Ballistic, and I got a longer version with my boy, Tayboy, on there also. And the thing is, it's just that, that particular song, like, I, I feel like if I, when I'm linked up with them, I feel like we can go out there and do anything for God, you know what I'm saying? And and I, I feel like it's just like that collaboration, it just gives you more power. Because, I mean, I can only do so much by myself, but I know when I got brothers and sisters, man, we can go out there and really do something. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> and um, make disciples. Yeah. So make disciples. Um. So that one, I got my boy, um, chosen one on there with me. And you know, me and him, you know, we kind of just kind of met through some. We kind of like how me and you met, you know. And um, and I've been doing some mixing and mastering for him, but pretty much. You know, I, like he he got such a strong presence. You know what I'm saying? When he's flowing, and and I'm like, I know I can get him on this song, and this really gonna have some power because it's just I want to really drill that to people that you know we got to go out there and minister and make disciples and, and spread like wildfire, man, yeah. like wildfire for God. And you know, and and that's what I want to happen. And there's so many of us out here that's doing this music but you know a lot of us not on and so it's almost like the underground but at the same time i'm like it doesn't matter about really getting out there getting noticed it's just about i mean just your surrounding people as you touch them you know, they just others and just kind of spread it you know so that's basically where that came from okay and uh i got one more for you um make this no holy spirit rock with the bro playing James. Oh yeah. <laughs> that song just that song was kinda just trying to do something fun, man, and like almost like a a hood praise or worship, so to speak, man. Just yeah. something that, like, you know, with a nice beat that, you know, especially like people get the young people like that dancing, you know, dancing for God, man, and just really turning it up. Word. <laughs> I love it, bro. So, as we approach the new year, you will be kicking off the new year with your new album, Darnell, A Child of God. Can you share the inspiration behind your new album? Alright, so, um, Darnell, A Child of God, like I, I feel like this album, I really wanted to show people just my my personality and, and my spirit, you know, because I feel like I've done so many albums of almost like self-loathing, you know what I'm saying? Like where um, I'm talking about so many different struggles and stuff like that, but this one is like I want it to be something positive and show people like, hey, you know, this is Darnell in a nutshell, you know? <laughs> now, I'm not perfect at the same time, you know, I love doing music for God. You know, um, I'm just a, a easy going dude, but I know how to turn up, you know, when it comes to the Lord, you know, so, um, you know, so I just tried to, tried to create something that'll really help people just really get to know me, you know, as a person. Man, for sure, bro. And right. man, and at this time, look, let me, let me just say first and foremost, Thank you for letting me get on that joint with you. Yes, sir. Man, and I also hey, want to ask... Also, I, huh? Uh, I just was saying, I, I had to get more car on that day. I had to get more <laughs> day on it. I appreciate yeah. you, bro. And I want to ask, who else would be making a guest appearance on this album? Um, so, I got, got my boy Batistic on there again. Word. I had a young lady named Tossie that's from uh, Florida. Like, I kind of linked up with her on Instagram, and uh, I just kind of like her full flow. She got that kind of flow that, that you really like now, so I got her on there. Um, I got my boy Ike Rhythm on there, um, and he reminded that I also met from Mike um, that's in the area. And I think that's, yeah, I think that's it. I had tried to get 
tried to get uh, one of my boys named um, Money Mike HD on there, but he couldn't couldn't get on the track in time. But so so it, it's missing one person that I really want to get on there. But, but you know we got to keep the ball going, keep it rolling. <laughs> For sure, and not to mention um, MJZ here said, you know, he's opening the album for you. He's going to bust a freestyle on the mic before the album opens up. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> he said he's going to bust a freestyle for you before the album opens. <laughs> and um, also I want to ask, who's behind the production of this project? It's mixed production, um, so I produce some tracks and then I got some tracks from Foreign Made It and also some tracks from a producer called The Okay. And, you know, they both have like some good trap styles, but, you know, some good like melodic flows, you know, like melodic um, sounds and stuff. So yeah. I wanted to try to mix it up a little bit so everything didn't sound similar, you know. Okay, cool, cool. And, um, man, that's what's up. So, remember, people, January 3rd, this is when it's happening. Don't nail a child to God. Make sure y'all support that mug when it come out. Well, we're about to go ahead and take a quick break. This is the season finale, so I had to beef up the list a little bit. So, first up, I got the homeboy Kenfolk D-Ray. Oh yeah, shout out to D-Ray, man. Christmas with your kinfolk is going down tomorrow night um, at the Ridgely Room. I hope I'm saying that right. 3309 Winthrop in Fort Worth, Texas. So if you're in the DFW area and you got your tent to get in, come through and kick it with your kinfolk. Also, I have Genesis with Happy Holidays and Lady V. Belcher in the mix. We about to chop up real quick. Inspire Mix Movement. We'll be right back. No inhibitors, everybody outside, Rick Born Peninsula. Block on by from the door, boy commissioner. Trunk wide open like a toy drive distributor. Kids going wild, good vibes, no inhibitors. At the mud, but we came from the projects. All love it, cause we came from that process. Mama on them chemicals, smoked out jobless. Daddy doing his own thing, raising hell godless. Tell me what that life brings, most pain is obvious. We was on that dead broke, we ain't had to buy. Yes. But how to get a dope sack and give it to Flabot? They push it in in intervals, they wouldn't take a mineral Trauma bonded like brains, criminals and generals Locked up, paralyzed, mothers at the funeral Just a juvenile child, young world, living wild Young money on the block, bus stop, sober guy When it's joy in the morning, ain't nobody hostile December 25th, I got a whole stockpile And we laughing, laser guns blasting Brand new kicks, new clothes, straight capping Everybody outside, Brick Born Peninsula. Block on five from the dope boy commissioner. Trunk wide open like a toy drive distributor. Kids going wild, good vibes, no inhibitors. Everybody outside, Brick Born Peninsula. Block on five from the dope boy commissioner. Trunk wide open like a toy drive distributor. Kids going wild, good vibes, no inhibitors. Remember waking up on Christmas and getting that new video game console, new clothes, fresh jewelry. That brand new toy, that brand new bike. Oh, Everybody outside, Brick Born Peninsula. Block on five on the dope boy commissioner. Trunk wide open like a toy drive distributor. Kids going wild, good vibes, no inhibitors. Everybody outside, Brick Born Peninsula. Block on five on the dope boy commissioner. Trunk wide open like a toy drive distributor. Kids going wild, good vibes, no inhibitors.
special time of the year. So go and grab your family, friends too. Let's celebrate the baby boy. The same me and you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Oh yeah yeah.
Now, first off, I must say, what is it that you don't do, man? You rap, you sing, you praise, you preach, produce, mix, mastering, photography, and videos. And I know these things because I'm in affiliation with Holy Ghost Grandma, or as the police would say, I'm in cahoots with those guys. <laughs> and, 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 and that too, you run the label, bro. Look, what was it? What what haven't you got into yet? Oh man, I I really don't know, bro. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> man. But I gotta tell you, bro, I'm I'm very thankful for Holy Ghost Grandma because that's why I dropped my first album, Inspired Music One, and my second album, United Saints, which came out this year. But bro, with your music, yeah, for real, praise God, man. But with your music, there is so much that needs to be shared right now. First, first of all, can you share the inspiration behind your albums out the way in a long way? And the reason why I want to bring up out the way again, because you dropped that, it like it has such a deeper meaning to it because you dropped that right when the pandemic happened. So it that was that was some serious ministry for real. So can you share your concept by out the way and a long way? So let, let's start with out the way. So um, out the way basically was a a city where I was pretty much uh, I felt led by God first of all, God driven and God led to uh, put this city out. It was pressed upon me to put this city out. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working on the city for a while and. Uh, Basically, the message that uh, was in the, in the city overall, I would say, probably would be uh, to get out of the way and let God have His way. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's the that's why the city's called out the way. It's like, listen, let's move out the way and let God do what He wants to do. Let God be God for real. And uh, that that was pretty much the theme, the idea behind the whole city. Um, plus, like, I the people have been wanting me to drop something, so. Uh, in that in that in that style of music, uh, R and B gospel. So um, I know it was my first one, and I dropped it. You know, and so that's pretty much the inspiration behind uh, out the way. Uh, yeah, you got songs on there from Bo to 2020. You know, so man, and uh, and the other one, man, because God brought you from a mighty long way. And you had you spoke about that this year, so can you can you share about a long way? Yeah, so um, on a long way, you know, it's it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a testimony album, pretty much I would say a testimony mm -hmm. album. Um, I'm testifying a little bit about my life. I'm testifying about some of the things that I was going through at the time, um, dealing with you know what I'm saying in my life, um, also with. Well, some of the some of the injustices we see against uh, African Americans yeah. um, uh, by uh, police brutalities and things like that. So um, it's it's a lot of that wrapped up in that out. You'll see, um, but that's pretty much what it, a long way uh, pretty much is. It's just kind of like look, this is my testimony. God brought me from a long way. Also, um, like I said, I was dealing with some things at the time that I testified on, uh, like songs. Um, uh, uh, dang, what's the name? <laughs> I can't remember the name. Look, look, look I'm, I'm gonna call some of them out in a minute. Look, don't look, it's all good. <laughs> oh, it was, it was, uh, it was, uh, hold on. That's what that's the yeah. name. Song. Hold on, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it had to come back to me, dog. It had to come back to me, dog. 
man, super cool, bro. And just like I did with the bro Darnell, I got some rhyme and reason I need you to share as well. So let's start with All Minds, the expectancy anthem. So All Minds, so All Minds was basically a song, it was basically like, it's, it's about future love and expectancy. It was a romantic, romantic romance type of song. Um, something that Christians can listen to, uh, something that uh, non-believers can listen to, and also uh, maybe mm -hmm. even be inspired to write music that's clean, that um, honors and um, you know uh, be begins to portray love the way the Bible uh, uh, portrays it. And so that was my aim of uh, all minds. It was kind of me expressing what I was looking for in a woman. And it's funny because I was dating um, my wife at that time when I wrote that song. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, and uh, it's just crazy, man. We had, you know we we, we married now, so uh, three years uh, strong. So bless the Lord. Um, yeah. But uh, so that that that's what that song came from. Like I was inspired by hearing um, CDs like um, uh, Fred Hammond. Fred Hammond made a CD, Love and Romance. You know what I'm saying? True. And uh, and he he painted a, a very biblical picture all the way through the CD. So like it was like I was like, oh, you know that right there inspired me, and it, it got me like want to. It had me like want to write a song, you know, similar. So. All right. Uh, the next one is God I Need You featuring the unstoppable AC. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, God. <laughs> oh, man. God I Need You was made like. It was, it was you know, it was the song in 2000, 2000 and probably, uh, what, 2000 and. Uh, it was, I made that song a long time ago. I know it was like 2004, maybe 2005. <clears throat> um, but I was going through something at that time, and I believe that God dropped that song in my spirit, and it was just, it was just kind of like a, a outcry. It was just saying, "God, I need," you. and uh, and that's what uh, that's where the hook came from. Now I had my homie, you know, I had my homie to, to, to hook up the beat with Cray Shots and Cray on the beat on that one. For sure. um, but yeah, it was that's that's basically what it was about, man. Ain't, ain't really, you know, too much to really say, I guess, but it was just. You know, a personal uh, testimony of what I, what I was going through at the time. Um, God just gave me songs to uh, help me. They encouraged me to get me through it. And that's just what it was. Man, for sure. And now this next one um, is I Will Praise You. But before you answer it, I want to talk about all these cool MJs we know. We got the King of Pop, MJ, which is Michael Jackson. Look, we got MJZ over here, which is Minister Joseph. Yeah. <laughs> then we got, then in your family, we got another cool MJ by the name of Montrell Jackson. So how did yeah. you and your cousin link up to do this song? Because that song is lovely, bro. So praise, praise be to God on that, man. Um, so, man, the crazy thing about that song is that God gave me this song. I was working on a job. I was writing this song on the job. I mean, we was on, you know, the type of job I worked at the time, we was on the road. So, like, yeah. you know, we were on the road, going to people's homes, doing carpets, cleaning carpets, and tile and ground, all that good stuff. And, uh, like I said, God gave me a song, and it was just a, it was just a praise song. And uh, it was called I Will Praise You, uh, like you said. And um, basically, it's just, it's just praising it and, and lifting up the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I had to hit. I had a, I had the idea to put my trail on it because like my, me and my trail that's my cousin we go way back like yeah. we used to do music <laughs> for you know what I'm saying R and B and just like second rap you know so I was like man I got I got to call him I got to get him up on it. and uh, you know since he's been doing gospel like I was like that's the perfect person I need to put on this song and, and he brought he, he did his thing and, and we praise the Lord and, and had fun pretty much that, that, that's what it was all about. Man, okay, now for this next one, like like me and my bro MJZ here, we always talk about how when God gives you something, the devil always want to throw a monkey wrench in your way. Now this next song is What You Say. Now you and I, we had a conversation about that because somebody out there felt the need to hate on you because of that track, but 
you know, look, all publicity is good publicity anyway, but that was a great song you made. So can you share the inspiration behind what you say? Man, that song, that song was during a time where uh, I feel like God was just kind of um, pointing me to make sure that I pay attention to focusing on what he's telling me to do. Um, don't let everybody in your ear. Sometimes, you know, you got to get folks out your ear. Yeah. You got to, you, you know, and there's a hundred big people around you that, um, you know, they say they're brothers, they say they're friends, and sometimes, you know, you always got to have a Jew somewhere. Uh, and so, uh, you know, in spite of all the haters, uh, in spite of all the stuff that I was going through at the time, uh, you know, God was just basically getting my attention to say, hey, it's what I say overall. Regardless of what people say about you, whether it's bad, whether it's good, just keep your focus on me and pay attention to what my word says and what I'm telling you in your ear. And that's what that song pretty much, that, that was the inspiration behind that song pretty much. God really is the inspiration, I mean, truth be told. But For sure. Yeah, I just, God be giving me songs and, and when he give me songs, I drop them. And uh, sometimes it's just, I'm writing songs, I'm just having fun. But that, that's one I believe definitely God was. I was trying to get my attention in that time. So. Man, speaking of God giving you songs, man. Now, next I want I want you to talk about the theme song, Out the Way, because you know we was all bumping that mother for a long time before you even dropped the album. So that's what I want. That's why I wanted to point that one out. The theme song, Out the Way. Lord, help me get out the so, way. <laughs> so, so yeah. So help me get out the way, man. That, that's the, like I said, we I had a song from all four on there, so that's that's one of the songs that I did in 2004. And you know that song, I'm, that song is like real transparent. Um, I was just really sharing like some things that I was dealing with in my flesh at the time. Um, you know, it was a there was a war going on. You know, the spirit in the flesh, yeah. and uh, and so um, I was dealing with some things. Like I said, and I exposed that in that song. Um, because guess what, you know, expose it, you know, so I can walk in freedom, so I can, you know, be real with, with the people who uh, listen to my music and um, follow me and, uh, you know, uh, so and that, that's just pretty much the picture I wanted to paint uh, with that song, Help Me Get Out of The Way, was just me really being transparent, being open about my life, about uh, pride I was dealing with, things I was dealing with in my flesh at that time, and I'm just saying, Lord, help me. Uh, move out the way so that you can do the things that you're trying to do in my life because sometimes we the biggest problem yes. and sometimes we get in God's way mm -hmm. and so we got to get out of God's way so that God can have his way yeah. and, uh, and so and that, that, that you know that goes back to the thing you want to have out the way <laughs> <laughs> alright and from a long way we have live your life featuring another great friend of ours shout out to Miss Robin Lane but yeah, man, live your life. Yeah. So, so, uh, so yeah, live your life is, is a, like I said, like I said, you know, I did a little mixture of uh, just some of the, some of the things I felt like at that time. I wrote that song during the time George Floyd was killed, like, mm. and uh, and so I had put the song out later after that, but I wrote it during that time, and you can tell, like, because I was talking about police brutality, but I was also talking about um, the promises and blessings and things that we have for, in Christ and for living for Christ. Um, and so um, that was just a call for people to, to, hey, live your life for Christ. Don't live for the world. Um, and also, I was just dealing with like situations with, like I said, we, we deal with in our African American culture, um, being, um, in, being uh, done wrong and uh, being uh, treated with injustice. Uh, and so um, that, that's pretty much what all of that, that song uh, entailed. Man, okay, the next one is All the Praise. Shout out to K-Drama, shout out to Rokeem, and look, and yeah. thank you, cause I'm on that one as well. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Yes, all the praise. How did you get that one? Yes, sir. So, man, uh, God was just um, inspiring me at that time to just continue to do. I was, at the time, I was just 
I was preaching and I'm also, you know, I was preaching and also God gave me inspiration to do music that was just gospel related. Just mm -hmm. gospel related. Like, so that song going, I was inspired to write that song about just to be just about the the, the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Um and that's what that song entails. But it also it also praises the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It also lifts up Jesus. And um, you know, for what he's done for mankind, for dying on the cross of, uh, for the sins of mankind. And so, um, and not only died, but we know three days later he rose with all power yeah. in his hand. So, uh, and, and and so that's what I wanted to portray. And that's just, that's just what it is, you know. I had to share. I, I want to definitely um, share the gospel. Um, and uh, I had to, I had to put you on it. You know, I had to have you on it, brother. Yeah, I mean, you, you know. <laughs> And what better what better collab would it would have been without without Jay and uh then also K Drama, you know, like I hit K Drama up. Appreciate you. K Drama, you know, dropped the verse, you know, got it got it back to me quick. You know, yeah. and uh so it was it was a blessing and an honor to work with him. Shout out to K Drama. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah. And also shout out to Rakeem because man, like I said, there was another brother who uh he definitely was uh wanting to get on the song and I was like, listen, I'm gonna go put him on here. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad of what God did and how it turned out. So, all right. So earlier I mentioned all minds, and you had just said in the midst of all minds, you found your good thing. That one, yes, sir. good thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, you want me? You, what, you, what you want me to share a little bit about all minds? Nah, good thing. Oh, good thing. Okay, yeah, good thing. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so good thing is is pretty much like it's a song honor and, and uh, you know honor my wife. Um, you know he that finds a wife finds a good thing, which I ain't from the Lord. Um, that's the theme of the, the the title of the song and the, the, the even the hook talks about you know a good thing. Um, and so it's just portraying uh, proverbs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where it says he that finds a wife finds a good thing. And obtain favor from the Lord, and so um, that's Proverbs eighteen twenty two. If anybody sure. want to know, um, but um, yeah, that's the song. Like I said, doing that, and also just sharing my love for my love, pretty much the rib of my rib, uh, the bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh, um, and just uh, honoring my love, uh, sharing my love, uh, doing the track about my my wife, honoring our uh, a black queen, my you know my my black queen, should I say? Um, and uh, and uh, she she loves it. That's one of her favorite songs. So. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. And, and I just got one more for you. And I could tell you had fun when you made this one. But your hit single from the album, Can't Forget His Name. Oh, man. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I can't forget his name. That, that was a song that was birthed out of a Bible study, like just spending time with God in His presence, um, and also, you know, I go, to, you know, I'm, I go to Bible college, so I'm getting ready to graduate for some. That's love. But um, so there was something that my mentor was sharing with me in God's Word in his class that I took with him, and it blessed my life. And uh, I had felt by God pressed upon God to share it and put it in a song, and I did. And uh, the song, I can't forget his name, uh, is basically speaking of how people get blessed by God. Uh, they get a little fame because God has made their names great. Then they forget about the gift giver. Yeah. Um, I say it's, it's, it's basically a song that also praises God and declares that through it all, I can't, for, I can't forget God. You know, when he blesses me or when he elevates me or when he does something in my life. Uh, and, uh, and so, and, and like I said, it comes from uh, a study in the Old Testament in, uh, Deuter in Deuteronomy. And uh, that's Deuteronomy chapters 34 and 30, I mean, 30, 28 through 34. Mm -hmm. And also in the book of uh, Josh, uh, where we see um, God begin to bless Israel. They get, uh, uh, they get ready to go to the promised land. Uh, and God had gave Moses words and instructions and things to tell them. Uh, not to do when they get to the promised land. Uh, and also he even gave Moses a song for them to remember that if they begin to get relaxed and forget God, 
and forget the gift giver, that all of these other things are going to happen to them, right? And so um, it's just it, that that ministered to me, and it just reminded me to hey, say, hey, listen, we can't forget God. When God blesses us, when he does things in our lives, um, we just got to give all the honor and glory to God and remember who did it. Like, that's just, that's just what the song portrays. Word, bro. And speaking of can't forget his name, you did a thing this year. You took that mug to TikTok and let some people dance to that mug. Like, how did that feel to see people dance to your joint? Uh, it, it blessed me, for real. Um, I mean, to see people dancing to my song, for one, I mean, I mean, I'm, you know, that's, that's a blessing. Because, you know, I mean, who am I? I'm just, I'm just a servant of the Lord. So, yeah. um, to see people dancing off of it was, was a blessing. Also, it encouraged me, and it also, uh, it helped, it helped really kind of promote the song in, a, in another way. And so, uh, I'm grateful and thankful for that. So, uh, shout out to all the TikTok dancers who did it. I can't forget a thing. God bless you. <laughs> man, for real. Shout out to the, to the dancers, man, on TikTok. But, um, we going to break for commercial. I always wanted to say that. Next up, I got Alyssa Wade and Friends with Have a Merry Christmas. Another one of my brothers by the name of Patience. Look, look, he was on Make Him Famous with us. He just dropped a new yeah. one called, <laughs> called All I Want for Christmas. And we got Mishanda English with Greatest Gift. So keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. Spiritual Redeemer steps out against he leads me He's my inspiration, the key to me believing Beaming with a smile up on my face, he got me cheesing Peeping, Matthew 121, the birth of the Holy One Growing up to rule the nation, the only begotten son Dropping his blood to save us from the grimy thief And to make us old, so that's why I'm trying to remind the peace Every day he be with us when we travel the streets Got the power to pray, when we talk in his peace you never catch me zoning off the trees or wrap the spirit on these beats Life and death conquer, yes he got the keys Clean us up and he sent us off to tell others That he care for us better than anyone could love us We don't have to be jumped into his game Look at X to 21, just got a call up on his name But we'll be saved
realized that I needed a king. Horrible view lens is dirty, they need to be clean. Inherited junk, but I ain't talking about my email. But now it's in me, cause I caught it when my daddy fell. A nature boy like Ric Flair, but I'm bound to be scorned. Don't need a robe or no shades, although a son was born. And he was born, cause we had a very high bell. He set us free, now we all run his coattail. A plan like this, the only thing that makes sense. He is the highlight of the day, not your outfits. Peace and joy, yeah, it's not that's the good life. Problems of your own, they slice them like a pocket knife. And keep your pocket knife, plus you gon' need a sword. Make sure it's sharp on both sides, you gotta go to war. He died for sin and ain't kill. Humiliation, I died to sin and he was dead. Reconciliation. Time get closer and the weather gets colder. I start thinking about what really matters. Yeah, a lot of gifts don't really move me. All I need is a jacuzzi and my wife, and I'll be satisfied. Yeah, Christmas time is the best. Just don't let yourself get pressed. Spending money to impress. Yes, yes. Nothing wrong with gift giving. You can better someone's living. Don't forget your folks in prison. Nah, nah. Put some money on their books. Let them know they not forgotten. It don't matter how it looks. Nah. Nah, this season's all about grace We celebrate the Savior who came and died in our place Yeah, yeah So you can put away the visa And remember without Christmas Then it wouldn't be no Easter Nah, nah, this same Jesus He gon' come again Roll back the skies like a scroll And he stepping in In, in, okay All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can I'm thanking God for every day, thanking God for every day All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can I'm thanking God for every day, thanking God for every day What better time of year to make peace And kill the beat that's causing families not to speak Don't let the past consume your mind and you smother Precious time with your sister and your brother We've all made mistakes, done and said things Sometimes we wish we could go right back to the scene But since we can't, let's let forgiveness intervene But since we can't, let's let forgiveness intervene Okay Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can I'm thanking God for every day Thanking God for every day All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can Thanking God for every day Thanking God for every day All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can I'm thanking God for every day Thanking God for every day All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can I'm thanking God for every day Thanking God for every day All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro semen threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can 
Thanking God for every day, thanking God for every day All I want for Christmas is the fam Some retro cement threes and some bands I'm thanking God for every day I can I'm thanking God for every day, thanking God for every day For the gift he gave To the world on that special day mm -hmm. The baby Jesus Was short of what we needed Just to show us Our sinful way Yeah He was born in a major Big and lonely But he grew up to be a man
Inspired Mixed Movement. We are live one more again. And I kid you not, man, look, I'm enjoying this. I'm having so much fun doing this right now. I don't even want to let it go. I was been supposed to wrap this show up, man. That's how much fun we are having in the name of Jesus right now. But um, I know I asked y'all this before because you you both been on the show before. But I think we need to do this one more time for the culture. So um, I want to ask these these questions. Hey, hey, Snoop, I need you to go first on this one. But how does God how does God inspire the both of you to keep moving forward? So God inspires me each and every day through his word. Um, as I begin to uh, draw, draw, draw close to God, um, uh, the more inspired inspiration he gives me to continue to, 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 to live for him day by day. And also uh, to even continue to do ministry. Um, it's, it's just by God's grace, by God's love, by God's strength uh, and, and his inspiration. Uh, and uh, and so God inspired me. Like I said, just by just let me know He's there. Just let just just um just um ministering to me through His Word. Um, just by um being that friend that's just supposed to be a brother. Um, just by uh let me know that He He ain't forgot about me that He loved me that He you know for that real. He's still God on the throne. I mean that's that's enough inspiration for me. I mean you know. God is a big God, you know, and uh, I'm just, I'm just uh, blessed because of those things. All right. Immortality? Yeah, so, hey, I, I just want to be used and I want to be a vessel. And, you know, I just see God to, to try to figure out what exactly what my purpose is in life because I'm like, Without knowing my purpose, then I'm just wasting time. So I want to make sure I'm on the track and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And, you know, that's what keeps me going. Man, straight up. And as we usher in the new year, what, what can y'all say to inspire others to keep going? Oh. Well, you know, I just would say, you know, just realize, you know, God is in control no matter what's going on. Know that it's a reason for it and everything is ultimately planned out and, you know, that in the end, God going to receive the glory, you know, and, and just realize since God going to receive the glory that the outcome is going to be a good outcome. And, you know, hey, if you have that spiritual insight, you know, that's gonna give you the motivation. You sure. know, you're not gonna you're not gonna shut down. All right. This is what I would say. I would just say, um, and this this scripture came to mind. Um, is a scripture that says, Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. I would say to inspire others, continue to draw close to God, um, put God first. Um, uh, Matthew 6 and 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And so just continue to keep God before you. If you don't know God, get to know him. Because, you know, time is winding up. So, you know, get to know Jesus. Um, and uh, that's what I would basically say. God bless you. <laughs> True indeed, bro. Well, we have come to the end of the show and season one. We will be, we will be back on January 7, 2022. And I'm going to close out with my brother's um, immortality with Turn It Up. And my brother Snoop, a.k.a. Sin Assassin, with Can't Forget His Name. But to everybody listening, don't go anywhere still because we got the... Fake Food Mixdown coming up next. But this is DJ Dr. J signing off his Spiral Music saying, much love, love God, love each other, and love yourselves. Be blessed.
call me burner aching Nobody know me but you know the savior that I'm praising My message always clean like I'm spitting Listerine If you secular the gospel kill your worldly things I put my arm around the devil choke his lights out And anybody that ain't saved come to right now Come and take my hand let me say a prayer with you Repeat this after me Lord I'm a born sinner Son to take away all my sin Unless I walk with you My fallen soul will never win I accept the invitation You have given me To believe that Jesus is the only way to be Take me in the water I don't wanna walk near it Baptize me in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit From this day going forward Lord, I am yours When I die, I pray I walk through heaven's doors Turn up, turn it up In the air, look your neighbor in the face and wave them like you don't care. Remember when you was down, you didn't know what to do. But the Holy Spirit hit you and it helped you get through. Everybody in the place, you know what I'm talking about. You done been in that position more than you talk about. We do hit the church on Sunday, enjoy your fellowship. Feel the spirit in the building, ask the praise, leave your lips. All your brothers and your sisters all lift this name up. Turning up, not thinking about the world's craziness, bro. Feel the beat, like the spirit making you stump your feet. We are some blessed people, we are part of Jesus' elite. Yeah, join hands, cause God has a plan. It's to bring his men and souls to him to the promised land. Turn up, turn it up, turn up. She puts an assassin, right? You already know what time it is, man. Time to go ahead and praise the Lord. I can't forget his name. No, man. I can't forget his name. Yeah. Woo. I can't forget his name. Yeah. Woo. I gotta give him praise. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta give him praise. Yeah. Ooh. I can't forget his name. Uh-uh. No. I gotta give him praise. Yeah. Ooh. I can't forget his name, nah, yeah. I gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name, nope, uh uh. I gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name, nah. I represent him, gotta let him know. Ooh, his truth is in us, tryna let him show. Ooh, his light shine in the dark and slow. Yeah, he got his ten, we like Dynamo. Blow up, we can't contain what he's done and shown. Yeah, just gotta praise him and make it known. Yeah, I can't forget him like some day to go. Yeah, for sure we slower seated on the throne. Yeah, living for him to the day that I'm going out past it, we never dope when out past it, we never fought his turn of God, he's eternal Lord. Lord, say go ahead and serve you with dough. Yeah, cause he's the greatest God man ever known. Never need what bow at the king's feet. Every talk of fast to GOD. Can't get around away, you can't see. He's all we need, can't forget what he's done for me. I was mad, but he set me free. In a life of sin, it didn't know. It was death for me Now I by the price That he paid no cavalry And I say to his will No matter what it's costing me Me I gotta give him praise Yeah Ooh I can't forget his name 
uh uh, no. Guy gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name, nah, yeah. Guy gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name, no. Uh uh, guy gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh. I can't forget his name, nah. JC, JC, I'ma sit when it's blessing me, yeah. But some people champ when I get a little champ, kinda feel where he sick as me. It don't please the king, but take a look at Israel before the promised land. God gave commands, and it's crushing not to forget I am, yeah. But what did he do to get relaxed and forget the lamb? That's how some do when they get a little name of fame. But we must not forget a thing, he's giving us life today. He helps print a place to stay. Everything that you do is all because of Jay Young talking Jesus. He be Jehovah Jireh, provider over everything. She see this line, he would provide for every need. That's why he number one, I can never forget to praise. Forget to thank him, humble to even call his name. It be an honor to serve the Lord, he's my everything. He be my rock, the strong tower, ancient of days. Great for the note, yeah, 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 the reason. Reason why I rap and reason I sing. I gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name. Uh uh, no. I gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name. Nah, yeah. I gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name. No. Uh uh, I gotta give him praise, yeah. Ooh, I can't forget his name. Nah.